Okay, um, hello. Somebody raised this question. This was a question somebody raised in the group, and um, and although I wanted to do it in text format, but I just chose to do it in this format so you can understand it better. Now, this is a simultaneous equation where um, we have something that looks more, uh, more or less, it can either lead you to a quadratic equation or I can't really say. But um, to solve this type of question, the best way to solve this question, it's by substitution. Solve it by substitution. Whenever you, you, you can't eliminate this type. So I'm going to divide this page into two. Now, so I'm going to um, do, um, so using equation two, I'll call this equation one. And I'm going to call this equation 2. So from equation 2, I'm going to make x the subject of the formula. So that will lead me into 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. So um, I will now do 2x is equal to 1 minus 3y. Therefore, I'll say x is equal to 1 minus 3y over 2. So this I'll call equation 3. I can now say substitute substitute equation 3 in 2. Now, but the problem I have with this is if I put 4 into, I'll now call my x 1 minus 3y over 2 all squared plus, um, sorry, minus, um, minus, so, um, minus 9y squared is equal to 19. Now, see the problem with this. Expanding this with fraction can be mad. So, I'm not going to encourage anybody to follow this approach. Yes, you could do this, follow the longer route and get it. But I'm going to show you a smarter way to get it. I just wanted to show you that I can do this and get the answer. But imagine where we are um, expanding 1 minus 3y over 2 over 2 squared, you're going to get confused. So I'm going to erase this and use another method so you understand it better. Now, look very well. You can see in our equation 1, we're giving 4x squared. What is 4x squared, if I may ask? Is it not 2x times 2x? Now, notice from here, we, we said 2x is already equal to 1 minus 3y. Now, square both sides. Squaring both sides means multiply both sides by 2. So this means 2x times 2x is equal to 1 minus 3y times 1 minus 3y. Now, notice this will give you what? 4x squared is equal to, then you cannot expand this. So this means if we expand this, we'll get 1 minus 3y minus 3y my plus 9y squared, which means 4x squared is equal to 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared. Somebody might be wondering why did we do this? All I just want to do is substitute anywhere I see 4x squared. I will now put 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared. Sorry, this should be 9y squared. So that's what I want to do. Now, it's better than expanding 1 minus 3y over 2 all squared. This is easier. So I will now see anywhere I see um, 4x squared, I will now put my 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared. So that would mean I'll put, put 4x squared in equation 1. So that means anywhere I see 4x squared, I'll put 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared. In short, I had 4x squared minus 9y squared equal to 19. So I'm going to replace 4x squared with 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared plus 9y squared, then minus... 9y squared equal to 19. So 9y squared minus 9y squared will give us 0. This will now bring us down to 1 minus 6y equal to 19. Collecting like terms, minus 6y minus 6y will be 19 minus 1. Minus 6y will give us 18. Therefore, y will be 18 minus 18 over 6. Therefore, y will give us minus 3. Now, to get our x, from um, here, we can say 2x is equal to 1 minus 3y. Therefore, um, x will be 1 minus 3y over 2, which will give us 1 minus 3 times minus 3 divided by 2. Minus 3 times minus 3 will give us minus, um, plus 9. 1 plus 9, this will give us um, 
1 plus 10 divided by 2 which will give us um, okay so let me write it where you can see it very well so this will give us um, 1 plus 10 plus 9 all divided by 2 which will give us 10 over 2 which will give us what 5 okay that means our x it's 5 and our y is minus 3. Now that's the final answer. Now to test it, to make sure that our answer is correct, let's test it in equation 2. 2 times 5 plus 3 times minus 3. This will give us 10 minus 9, which will give us 1. And you can see it's corresponding with this one we have here. So this is the final solution. Thank you for this question. Please, if you have more questions like this, bring it on. We would appreciate tough questions that will make you learn more. And please don't forget to click subscribe because we'll be releasing several videos for you. Thank you very much.